Learn how to express hopes, wishes, wants, and doubts. What do you mean by mood? A verb's mood reveals how the speaker or subject feels about the action. Let's compare the indicative mood with the subjunctive mood. If the action is factual and certain, you use the indicative mood. For example, if you say Carmen estudia biología, the verb estudia is in the present indicative. You are just stating a fact. Carmen studies biology. To express the same idea in the imperfect indicative, you would say Carmen estudiaba biología. Carmen studied biology. Like the indicative, the subjunctive mood has various tenses, such as the present or past. But the subjunctive mood expresses uncertainty, possibilities, and wishes. So if you say, La madre de Carmen quiere que ella estudie biología. Carmen's mom wants her to study biology. The verb estudie is expressed in the subjunctive mood because a wish is stated. Why would estudiar be in the subjunctive? Well, it follows the setup for using the subjunctive mood. The independent clause is followed by que, which is followed by the dependent clause. The independent clause has a subject and a verb that expresses a wish, want, or desire. Note that this clause is in the indicative mood. The clauses are separated by que, and the dependent clause has a different subject. When all of this occurs, the verb in the dependent clause will be in the subjunctive mood. Listen to Carmen and Alberto. Carmen, ¿cuáles clases tomas? Mis padres quieren que yo tome la clase de la historia del arte. Tienes suerte. ¿Por qué? Yo amo la historia del arte, pero mis padres quieren que me enfoque en las matemáticas y las ciencias. Are there other verbs that lead to the subjunctive? Yes. Verbs like preferir and insistir also lead to the use of the subjunctive mood. They influence the dependent clause and are called verbs of volition. Verbs of doubt or denial such as dudar and negar also lead to the use of the subjunctive mood. Remember that the subjunctive mood is used when verbs of volition or doubt appear in the independent clause. The clauses are separated by que, and the dependent clause has a different subject. Let's listen to Carmen and Alberto again. Verbs in the subjunctive mood will be highlighted. Mis padres prefieren que yo tome clases creativas. Yo dudo que mis padres quieran ver más clases de arte en mi horario. Yo insisto en que tú hablas con tus padres sobre la clase. ¿Insistes? Bueno, tú sabes mucho sobre el arte. Yo temo que la clase sea muy avanzada. Lo siento que tú no sepas la diferencia entre un Picasso y un Dalí. Lo siento es una emoción. Why is the subjunctive used? Sentir, esperar, and temer are verbs of emotion. The subjunctive is also used after these types of verbs. Look at the following sentences. Yo espero que el señor Alves enseñe la clase. I hope that Mr. Alves teaches the class. Yo temo que el profesor nos dé un examen. I am afraid that the teacher will give us a test. Note that the clauses are separated by que, and there is a change in subject in the dependent clause. Listen as Carmen and Alberto use verbs of volition, doubt, and emotion to form the subjunctive. Siento que no te anime la clase. Yo temo que la profesora sea difícil. Yo recomiendo que tú visites el Museo de Arte antes de la clase. Espero que tú vayas conmigo.